Hey folks, this is Nod, uh, playing Space Engineers, and uh, I've been working on the station a little bit more, um, and I've been playing around with uh, sensors. Specifically, I wanted to like see if I could get some like sort of supermarket doors going here. So when I uh, when I walk up to my door here, you see, it opens on its own, and then when I walk past it, it closes behind me. It's magic. So back the other way, it opens, and back it up, it closes on its own. So, um, yeah, I've heard about this before, senses, they're not a big deal thing, uh, you know, not too special about them, but it's the first time I've played with them and I'm all excited. So go in here, open, back up, it closes, <laughs> it's just very cool. So, uh, let me show you kind of how that works, as you can see there's a sensor in the ceiling here, and when I walk into the, when I get close enough to it, triggers and the door opens and as I back up away from this the side here it, uh, it closes again so it's just one sensor doing the whole thing simple as can be and uh, let me show you how that's set up so first things first is uh, go into here to the sensor thing and I have to I'm going to do show on HUD so this is just showing the HUD sensor on HUD, and I'm going into the info thing here, and I'm going to turn on show sensor field range. Click that, and I get this cool looking at red box around my sensor. So that's showing me where my sensor range is, you know. So what, you know, as soon as I walk into this red area, boink, triggers the sensor. So um, yeah, it's really actually this is really super helpful for like uh, setting this stuff up, you know, um, you know as you're tweaking the values. And I've also got, as you see, it continues into the next room here, so let me go in here real quick and uh, I'll show you why I have it going so far back in this direction. Um, if I pop the uh, helmet on, pretty good. So if I pop the door here, evacuate all the air. So now I have, a, uh, I have a vacuum in here and a pressurized room I'm about to go into. If I don't have this sensor go, all, if I don't have the sensor field go all the way back to the window here, what happens is when I walk in front of here, it blows me backwards. And before, what I was, what was happening was it was, uh, it was then closing the door, and uh, uh, it was closing the door immediately as soon as I got blown back here. And then I walked forwards, and it would open the door again and blow me back. And I was just stuck in this horrendous loop of just being thrust forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. So I found by, oh, I found by extending the. Uh, yeah, the field all the way back here, even when I get blown back, it, it keeps the door open, which is good. So, uh, yeah, that's that's good. I think uh, what I now I want is a, uh, I want another sensor on this, uh, leading to the outside here. So, uh, you know, this one I can run through. So what I want next is to put another sensor here, which will open this door. But i got to be careful, though, because I don't ever want both doors open, open at the same time, so... As long as the fields don't overlap, I think that should be achieved. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, drop the sensor down here. Where are they? Where did there you are? Sensor. So let's stick one up under the ceiling here. Now you've got to kind of pay attention to the orientation of these things. It says, let's see. Okay, sensor. It's not like cameras. You got to read the text on them. I think that's the right way around. All right, stick that the ceiling. Wait for the nanites to come do their thing. What is this pirate going out here? It's a commercial freighter. Right, here we go. Bowling, bowling, bowling. Bowling, bowling, bowling. I should put my helmet onto this. Okay, helmet is on. Oh, I also need to figure out what door this is too. So, this is door number 15, okay, and this will be sensor, a lock 2, spell a lock right, okay, a lock 2, alright, so show on, on sensor, I've already got the uh, show sensor field range on, okay, so, right now that's an enormous field we've got going on there. Yeah, that, that's a little big. Don't need it that big, so we need to uh, make that the right size. So 
Now let's see here. This can be a little tricky. Definitely don't. Oh yeah, I should probably link it to the door at some point too. Let's close the door for now. Okay. So, here's my field. So, the left extent, I'll drop that down to one meter. Right extent, down one meter. Bottom extent. Now that means the stuff behind me, I believe. Yes, okay. So I'm going to drop that down to minimum. Top extent will be out the door. Yeah. So I'm going to keep that fairly long so when you fly up to the airlock it opens the door for you. Now, back extent is like above the sensor. Which is a little un unintuitive, but okay. And the front extent is... Uh, I forget what I need. It's in straight three meters. How far down does that go? Goes into the floor. Alright, no less than that. Two meters. Still going into the floor. I guess that's fine though. Let's try about a little bit more. A meter. So that's too high, okay. Two meters it is. Thereabouts. Okay, so now I have to go. Uh, Alright, so I want to detect players. And uh, detect owner, detect friendly, detect neutral. I do not want to detect enemies, because then it'll open the door for my enemies, which is <laughs> not what I want. Alright, so that's good. And set up actions. I have forgotten what door that was. Hold on a second here. Door 15. Alright, got it. I should probably just name it something, but... Okay, set up actions, door 15. Okay, there's our door, so. Now, it's got two boxes down here. The one on the left is for, I believe, when you run into, when you walk into the, uh, the field. So I'm going to have that open the door. And the block on the right here is when you walk out of the field. I'm going to have it close the door. So, let's see if that works. So that opens that. Okay. Back into the field. Opens the door. Very good. Close. Open. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. This is the door behind me. Nice, nice. Alright, looks like I could extend that field a little bit more. Let's see if I can do this remotely. Sensor to airlock. Alright, so this is going to be the top extent. Okay, there you go. So I can extend it out from right here. Alright, let's try just that. So, so as I fly towards it, it should open the door for me almost immediately before I get there. Yeah, very nice. Close the door, yep. So there's no way I can actually have both doors open here, it looks like. So if this is open here, it quickly zip over here. Yeah, it closes that one immediately and opens this one. Perfect. And spec the other way. Yep, so that's perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. Absolutely brilliant. Alright, so that's uh Let's turn off the uh, sensor fields here. Any glowy red things in the air. Let's uh, info. Show field sensor range. Turn that off. Okay, and uh, sensors. One. Okay, show on HUD. Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay. Alright, there it is. Brilliant. Now there's a bunch of scripts online for doing this too. And I haven't looked at them. Um, and I'm sure they're very cool, but to be honest, uh, for doing what I'm doing here, it seems like just the vanilla game mechanics all on our own works perfectly. 
so the dive is absolutely brilliant. I just like that a lot. So, <laughs> so the next thing you do is do that with pretty much all of them. Thank <laughs> you.